very good morning and om shanti to all of you listeners i hope you have enjoyed your day of deepavali with your loved ones family members but deepavali is a every day festival exactly that's what we believe about in spirituality that every day we have to wear new clothes remember the clothes which we are talking spoken about the clothes which we need to change is the old sanskars and bring in the new habits that is deepavali which we do every single day we try to remove our weaknesses we try to remove our bad habits and that is what it means by deepavali and if we speak sweetly with everybody because of having peace of mind in our mind and not having any disturbance any negativity in our mind when we talk sweetly to others we are actually distributing sweet to other people that is a symbol and we have to burn away the negativity within that is what your fire in a crackers every single day so that is what it means by deepavali and also cleaning your home means this house needs to be clean every single day the mind so you are celebrating deepavali every day so deepavali is not just a single day celebration it's an every single day celebration so now let's come back to what baba has to say in 278 day of our holy blessing baba says may you be master knowledgeful and become a destroyer of obstacles with the light and might of knowledge light of spiritual knowledge not the chemistry physics mathematics that is going to take care of the physical world and physical comforts but the mental comfort is only taken care by spiritual knowledge so that is the wisdom which we are talking about so destroyer of obstacles with the light and might power of knowledge let's get into the details so on the path of devotion which we see in the so called hindu dharma which is actually not hindu dharma it's adi sanatan dharma because there is nobody known as hindu who created this dharma just like christ created the dharma or the religion so it's known as christianity gautam buddha created the or is the founder of dharma so buddhism but who is the person known as hindu is there anybody known as hindu who created this religion why are we calling it hindu so there is a mistake over here it is known as the adi sanatan the ancient original pure religion which now is no longer pure actually which we are learning in spirituality because lot of old habits pure habits have been given away in this religion also so god says on the path of devotion ganesh is worshiped as the destroyer of obstacles we always put swastika and we put ganesh ji's picture whether we put it on our walls whether we put it at the entrance of our home or in our shops or workplace we put it so that all our obstacles are removed but god says those obstacles can only be removed with divine wisdom not by putting up a picture of shri ganesha it's a reminder that you have to imbibe knowledge that's why shri ganesha is mean shown as eating modak or those sweets sweets are a symbol of sweet knowledge given by god and then can a person have an elephant's trunk or elephant's face on top of their body not possible we have not seen it anywhere not practical but it's a symbolism so these are symbols of depictions of knowledge so what does an elephant do let's find that out an elephant when he wants to go somewhere any obstacle any small branch or tree he just removes them he just removes any heavy thing in front of him and just keeps on going straight ahead so he removes all the obstacles so here too in life we receive so many obstacles that can be removed through divine knowledge through the wisdom which we receive by having those laddus no not the laddus but the laddu of knowledge the sweets of knowledge and then you see the different weapons which have been shown in the hands of shri ganesha those are weapons of knowledge which give us power not over others but power over our self so that is a symbolism and then there's a little mouse which has been shown and he's been shown riding the mouse how can a elephant ride a mouse no so what is the meaning of that the mouse is having the character of getting into your house without you knowing that means a negative thinking impure thinking can get into your mind without you even noticing it suddenly you are feeling sad suddenly your mood is off why we are because you have been contemplating something negative or impure about somebody else or you have been going to your past and pondering over your past and that is the mouse 
so with this divine knowledge we can actually ride the mouse means we can ride over these negativities we can suppress them put them down and make them feel as if they are very small and menial or very little things in our life which don't need to be given any heed to so then god says he is also known as master knowledgeful shri ganesha that is the lord of knowledge see so just putting that symbol or putting the picture of shri ganesha is not enough we have to imbibe the divine knowledge which we have to receive from spirituality that's how we are going to become shri ganesha we are going to act like shri ganesha we are going to get the vardhan of shri ganesha then god says the children who become master knowledgeful are never defeated by obstacles because knowledge is said to be the light and might with which it becomes easy for you to reach your destination people come in between our lives who don't let us move ahead situations come in our life which don't let us move ahead our karmas which we have done in the past come in our life which we don't let us move ahead which becomes uh, become as obstacles so with this divine knowledge we become what we become the destroyers of obstacles we change our method of thinking talking acting and then automatically situations around us change but for that change to happen we need divine knowledge then god says in the same way those who are destroyers of obstacles and who remain constantly combined with the father now where is this knowledge will come from come from supreme father directly no human source and who continue to churn knowledge can never be defeated by obstacles so shri ganesha has been shown eating the laddus the sweets and that's why he's shown that he's got a belly he's eaten so much that means you are full of knowledge it's a symbol he's it's not that he's fat it's a symbol of you are complete with all the knowledge you become fat not physically but full of divine knowledge and wisdom inside you and that's why you're able to overcome the obstacles in your life so everything is a symbol in life and so is the so called adi sanatan religion which we mistakenly call it as hindu dharma so this is what is the message of god that we have to become somebody who removes all the obstacles now what is that knowledge you can learn it at brahma kumaris and little by little be share it over here also to, but to get the whole picture of it you have to go and do the seven days free spiritual course one hour a day spend your time for yourself make your life peaceful and make others like peaceful by doing this course have a blessed day om shanti